had a question about my domain. And I think it's worth reviewing. Uh, there was a good email that talked about instance, an instance change that was coming. And looking down in it, what it talked about was a best practice here is to enable my domain. And so uh, the way you can tell if, in fact, this is even relevant is if you look at your URL for your homepage, uh, what it'll show you, this is an NA174. Now, this is a, a dev work, so it was actually set up this way. But what you'll see is, is that because it's a 174, and if you look out on the company information here, uh, what you can find if you drag down is, uh, this is the developer org at instance NA174. And what that means is if you go out to trust, uh, trust.salesforce.com and you click here on system status it allows you to enter NA174 and you can find out the status so if it's running slow you can tell what's going on the other place that this shows up is if you go out to uh, your settings and you look at lightning experience transition uh, and what they have here is these paths and if you look at the rollout phase and you drop down in that, this is the rollout phase, uh, what you'll see is, is that an important step from their perspective is also setting up my domain. And if you click in on it, there's a, a lot more information within this lightning experience page, which I think is good, but it shows you a bunch of different features that are relevant, including uh, my domain. Now, what it said, though, is, is that my domain is already turned on in trailheads, and so you uh, don't attempt to run it in your trailhead, which was, I think, helpful to think about. Uh, and then if we go out and we go to our settings, and again, I'm still in NA174, and we click on uh, my domain, what you get is this information, which talks you through what it means. The hardest part is choosing a name, right? Uh, and then what it does is to say that these are the steps you're going to follow. You're going to choose the name, you're going to register it, you're going to test it, and then you're going to uh, deploy uh, with a delay once you register. And I'm going to show you how that works. So let's just say we're going to go on ahead and paste out here a name of my domain. I'm going to going to check it. It's going to say it's available which means I can now register it. Now, the only other thing here just to note was it says only customer support can change your domain name once it's registered. Uh, and what that means is that uh, once it's registered, uh, then if you uh, deploy it, uh, then you actually find out that you can rename your domain name. And so there's uh, good information here, but in order to rename it, it has to be deployed. Uh, and so, you know, there's a bit of a, a, a good information around kind of what that means. But let's go back and let's go on ahead and deploy this. And then let's see how long this is going to take. So I've now deployed and it's going to come and say, okay, now I've gone to the next stage. Uh, and it's say you'll receive an email and I'll let you know how long that takes. So I didn't see... Uh, a message come through but what I'm seeing here is is that the domain is now ready for testing and so what I'm able to do is to say yeah so I've got my my tester domain and what it's telling me to do is to log in here so I'm going to click log in and it will then give me authentication so now you can see we have my tester domain is running and if I go back a tab what I've got is the NA174 and it also says here you have to log in in order to deploy. You can see deploy here is grayed. If I go back to the next one and I roll down, what you see is I've got deployed. Now, while I'm in this testing mode, what I can do is to go out and launch and take a look at, at especially what they suggest is take a look at buttons, custom buttons that you may have, or other places where you have uh, Visual Force or Apex code that may have been specifically connected to uh, using this NA174 address, although I think best practice is that, that people wouldn't do that. Uh, so once you're happy with that, you can then click Deploy to Users.
So we've got a message that says when you deploy, it's going to uh, it reactivate immediately. Uh, and only customer that can change the name once it's deployed, although we know. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click this and say great. Okay. Uh, and then what it says now is great. It's deployed. So once you've deployed, uh, there are the two other features they, that's worth kind of highlighting. One is this, uh, and again, we're in tester domain. Uh, just, just for fun, just so you see this, what I did was to go back and refresh here, and I'm in NA174, and it refreshed as my domain is this one, and it does show me that I can go in and edit here, and it shows me I'm deployed. So it's interesting. I'm not sure exactly how, I guess if I log out and log back in, it'll help me. But uh, if I click edit here on my domain, this is interesting as well, because what they say is they recommend not redirecting, but yet the default is to redirect. Uh, I kind of like this middle one, which is to redirect with a warning that says, hey, we're doing this. Uh, and you can prevent people from logging in directly. Uh, you know, again, you can kind of work through these if you care to. Uh, and this is where you would do a, re a, a rename. So if we, if we do, let me, let me save this for now, though. Um, and so what I've got now is I'm redirecting with a warning. Uh, the last one down here, which is interesting, is this, if I go in, this is the, the page itself. Uh, and so this is where I can go in and say what I want to do is, for example, change the background color. Uh, and I could put in a, a right frame, you know, where they have a, an advertising for Salesforce or other content. You could put in a URL here that would, that would give you more information. Uh, if we click that and say save, um, that'll bring it out uh, here. Um, the only other thing now is, is that if I wanted to, I could go out and say, okay, I want to do this. I want to edit this, and I want to change and rename my domain. Uh, so if I want to rename my domain, so I'm not sure why that doesn't work, but in the meantime, looking back, and this is the, uh, the user authentication module. Uh, the login, it did come through and, and validated. So whatever we did seems to work. So hopefully that's a good start and uh, enjoy experimenting with my domain.